All right, the match is starting. First map of the qualifier in the first uh, matchup of the day. EPR versus limited edition. All right, so we have the first uh, kill of the day in the accounts of uh, Flo. The armor is going to spawn in uh, 10 seconds. So both players uh, currently at rocket launcher will be on their way towards the armor. Very nice rocket work there. And nice uh, steal of the armor by, e by BKMZ. Quark in a little bit of trouble, but he's getting help from Flo. <laughs> AKA Spider Man. Uh, Belt's uh, spawning in two seconds. Goes to the team of the Russians. Uh, very nice flag uh, ammo pickup by BKMZ. Amp is going to be spawning in uh, 10 seconds. The Russians uh, play very nice and controlled so far. E damage picked up by Epri. Now ammo spawning and on the hunt for some frags. Killing spree already. After not even two minutes, Epri second back up on some HP, and also Epri now on a killing spree. 10 to 2. It's pretty impressive so far. I would not have guessed such a clear control of EPR. So I'm just, I'm just uh, being informed that uh, you guys have trouble hearing the game sound for some reason. I apologize for that. I'll try to fix it after the map as I'm on a single monitor setup right now. Our second amp just uh, being uh, been picked up by, uh, I think it was Flo, immediately uh, shot down. The Russians just attack an armor. Armor should be uh, up very soon. Three seconds. Oh, very, very nice uh, shock work here by Epri. Armor is up. BKMZ, I think, just picked it up. Fifteen to four already, and uh, it's EPR's uh, map choice. I think L3 has a really hard time at uh, actually controlling the map at this point. Both BKMZ and Epri uh, run around with uh, the shock rifle all the time and uh, L3 can't really seem to get a grip on this. Armor's going to spawn in 10 seconds and all four players were at the armor. Perfect timing for uh, Epri, who just picked up the amp. And is able to attack the armor.
Quark accidentally uh, uh, ducked at uh, a random time, completely unaware that Epri with the amp actually was uh, about to shoot at him. The belt is up as well. There you go. It might be a little bit better to uh, see for you guys than the black models. Ah, Quark exactly knew where Epri was uh, standing because of the flex spam. Nice patient uh, dodging here on, on Epri's side, Epri's behalf. Missing quite a few um, snapper shots here, not, not able to uh, finish off Quark. Now Flo has the amp, let's uh, quickly switch towards him. And the belt again goes to uh, EPR. Very nice uh, flag ball here. Hitting big AMZ, uh, who had the shield belt for 140 damage. EPR hitting a lot of uh, snipers there. That is uh, very hard to counter at this stage. Eight minutes to go. Flushing some very nice footwork, but in the end isn't enough against the two stacked uh, EPR players. And Quark could actually made it to the uh, to the armor as uh, BKMZ is now attacking the belt. Flow with some uh, amazing movement here, escaping most of the shock spam of uh, BKMZ. Ah, but the. Uh, Shock is uh, too strong for him. Amp is now also up. Let's see who's getting... And the Amp is still up. I think BKMZ just uh, made a big mistake in not going for the Amp. He had a height advantage over Flo. And now Flo actually might be getting that Amp. Have a very, very bad uh, weapon to attack the sniper player. Belt is also going to be up in just a few seconds. So instead of securing the belt, Flo rather tries to make use of the amp. There's no particular right or wrong in this uh, situation. If Flo, uh, if uh, Quark would be able to get the uh, the shield belt. But I think, yeah, Epri, Epri just got the shield belt, so with trying to catch up on uh, on kills, they unfortunately forfeited the belt, and that's not really a position you want to be in if you are 15 frags behind. Again, whoever uh, just tuned in, I apologize for the no in-game sound. Since the latest update, I have not used uh, OBS, so I will fix it right after this map and uh, we'll go troubleshooting. Quark now picking up the 100 armor, might be able to help flow here in uh, the middle section of the map. A belt is up. <laughs> nice uh, slide kill by flow. And uh, EPR again missed uh, the, the amp. That could prove a very, very, very nice uh, snapshot here. That could be very fatal for uh, EPR, who has been uh, who have been dominating this map so far. And again, another really nice uh, shot by Flo. 
I almost feel like uh, Wolverine is playing here, who knowingly only makes kills when he got the amp. <laughs> Must have been like the fourth or fifth kill in this amp run, so very, very effective uh, usage. So almost made it in, back into the uh, uh, rocket room, perfectly aware that um, shield belt well, was coming. Flo was not in position to uh, pick it up. He jumped down, unfortunately. Let's see what the shield bearer is actually doing. Flo has got the armor. The frag lead uh, just now got reduced to uh, nine frags. Amp is gonna spawn in two seconds. Flo seems to have the advantage, but is not going for it. Every now looking for uh, an instant hit weapon to make the most out of this amp. Ah, baited. A pre baited uh, flow here. Oh, wow, what a close uh, uh, kill on, on L3. Extending the lead. Ah. That's that's really nasty. I'm pre hitting uh, just a lot of uh, instant hit, hit weapons right there. Armor's up. <laughs> Flow is. Uh... Probably the player with uh, the best movement in UT4 I've seen so far. Shoot is going to spawn in uh, just a bit. 10 seconds. Flo's already preparing, but got hit heavily. Down to 60 HP now. And Amp again to EPR. Very hard to kill. With the armor pickup. Ah, 180 damage on uh, flow right there. Despite having had the shield belt, two shock hits were enough. Very unfortunate. Seems like a very clear uh, domination right now for EPR. Oh wow, not intended, but uh, Efri's uh, shield gun actually uh, blocked, I think it was Flo, from uh, getting any further. Almost died to the 2-pack. Overall, it seems that uh, the uh, timing is uh, working out way better for uh, the Russians right now. While the pure fragging skills seem very much uh, uh, even. Flow with a very, very nice uh, lift jump. Alta secured frag. Yeah, it's 10 frags, uh, frags uh, difference right now. And another amp is being picked up this time by uh, Limited Edition. I was about to say, even if he manages to get uh, five kills, it might not be uh, enough. I mean, five kills like he did in the previous amp run, it might not be enough for uh, winning this uh, map. But in the end, everything counts. Every frag counts here. 20 seconds to go.
And we have a winner of the first map. GG, although I can't read it. Let me quickly tap out and try to fix the uh, in-game sound. There was a uh, trick. Um, I think it was called Stereo Mix, if I'm not... I'm not... Um, if I remember correctly. Let's see. I'm gonna let the players know, and I really hope that they uh, quickly read this, because I, as the spectator, cannot um, actually message them. Okay, he, he said, all right, so let's see if my OBS is now working. Okay, I he have an echo, but that's not a problem. Hold on. So I would like to uh, uh, ask you guys if you can um, hear the in-game sound right now. Did you guys hear these uh, combos? Just going to check the... Still no in-game. Okay. Yes, I, d I did have issues with the uh, background sound. Okay. Let me, let me try to fix this. Because... I know it was related to the fact that I Okay, okay. I think this is like this. Uh, can you please uh, let me know if you hear an echo, or do, do you just hear the in-game sound uh, normal? Okay, like, I almost found it. It's related to the fact that Yeah, right. Um, it's related to... Okay, maybe it's... Okay. Maybe this one needs to listen to. Test. Well, now I'm hearing myself. Well, it has to do with the uh, stereo mix. If anybody can just uh, quickly troubleshoot me here, that would be um, appreciated. Because I did reinstall uh, some of the uh, drivers um, and also installed the newest OBS version. 
and apparently, um, okay, if you have Try Capture full screen application or a particular window like UT4, I think I did that, but um, let me actually check that again. Because it did work before, and uh, for some reason it uh, doesn't work right now. So I'm going to go back to here. And then you said, um, I do not have game capture. I'm, I'm using, uh, oh, 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 yes, yes, game capture, you're right. I'm using a capture specific window. And, um, okay, maybe it's just related to uh, some part of the uh, audio. I think I might have found it. Okay, how is this sounding to you guys? Do you guys hear in-game sound now? Okay, perfect. Um, big apologies to the uh, uh, technical difficulties I'm having, or I have been having. Great, so it's all there. Let's jump back into the game. So, first map was won by EPR, quite convincingly, I must say. Um, the timing was uh, very much on, uh, uh, on EPR's, or in EPR's advantage. Mm. Deck could be a different story. It's a very um, aim-heavy uh, map, so maybe the lack of timing on... Um, Limited editions hand will not be as Three, severe. Two, one. Let's see what uh, BKMZ is uh, able to pull off with uh, a little bit of HP he has left. I'm just gonna spawn in 10 seconds. It looks like uh, the edition is gonna get it. Orc uh, being a little bit too greedy here, just just waiting with uh, the sniper in his hands. Became Z able to pull off a double kill right there, and very very nice work from uh, Flo. Uh, the belt's gonna spawn in five seconds. I'm gonna be on uh, Flo's uh, POV. Who is uh, trying to... Actually, wow! What a shot! Very, very close. He was very patient with uh, pulling the trigger. Also here, Flo uh, being a very, very strong force we reckon with. Uh, the next end is, uh, sp or the first uh, end of the map is spawning in 10 seconds, 5 seconds now. Both EPR players already at the end area. Not able to really utilize this uh, amp. However, if he would have hit this combo, then uh, be a different story. You don't see that too often. You flow with a uh, movement mistake, uh, but it's gonna spawn any second. And was picked up by Quark. Very nice uh, teamwork. Flow distracting EPR right there. Armor still up. There was a little bit of a blooper. Quark picked it up, uh, fortunately for a uh, limited edition. Very close score, just uh, 7 to 5 for EPR. Ah, oh, very nice combo right there. Very, very nice uh, defense here. 
And as I said, that a little bit of a movement mistake by by Epri. And now you guys might wonder why uh, same mistake twice. As far as I know, uh, the impact hammer in uh, assault or other team modes works a little bit differently, but it's immediately more charged. So that must be must be the reason. Maybe he's just uh, a little bit nervous. We'll find out later, maybe. See what BKMZ can do with uh, this newly picked up armor. Shield, uh, shield belt spawning in uh, 10 seconds. Both teams uh, have similar stacks right now. I believe EPR might be in a better position to attack the build. EPR claiming the belt. Now be now both players are able to attack the armor. And every with the killing spree. Repeating what he did in the map before. Very nice flag ball, 100 damage. Two flow <laughs> and Quark seemed to be uh, convinced that the amp was his, killing his teammate in the process. Oh, very nice uh, sniper work here by Quark, dealing 260 damage within uh, under one second. Shipper went to EPR again, or to Epri. Switching over to him. Seemed to have died with it though. Not sure what exactly happened. If Epri uh, actually knew that Flo was uh, hopping around with 1 HP in front of him, then I think he would be very disappointed that none of these balls actually hit. Hems up, Flo with a very very nice uh, kill on BKMZ. Now struggling though with uh, this tiny bit of health. Every get hit by the amped shock ball, but there Quark finishing him off. Quark, however, now struggling himself with uh, finding some HP. Going to flow, swapping over. Sheba going to flow, who uh, killed Epri uh, right before. Amp is already up and might be the deciding. Or could be the deciding amp in order to gain gain back the lead. 
actually get the lead for um, limited edition, but uh, with the amp in Yamaha's hands, it's not gonna be too easy. Very nice uh, duck and cover play by by Quark there, fooling Epri. And some comment out of the uh, Discord channel right now was that uh, nobody really heard about EPR before and thought it was actually a very easy dominance of uh, L3. But in fact, the opposite is happening right now. That EPR already scored one map, and now on the second map it uh, also seemed that they were dominating. But now Flo with a nice shock combo, getting a little bit too eager maybe with uh, the flag cannon against these uh, instant hit players. And I'm just hearing that uh, EPR actually is um, an el elimination team, so they should be well aware of being able to aim. And I'm very, very impressed that they uh, time so well. That is, uh, for me, actually the biggest surprise in this whole constellation. just picked up the 100 armor, didn't really need it, but uh, I guess it's always better to just pick it up so your opponent doesn't doesn't get it. Wow, I'm very impressed by Flo's uh, Spider-Man skills right there. In any case, Shukla is going to spawn in 5 seconds, so the question is how will Limited Edition attack... Well, the shield build I was about to say, but that didn't happen. Very nice. Combo by BKMZ. And another end goes to uh, EPR. We'll quickly check the scoreboard after this fight. Um, four to three amps. Okay, that seems very, very even. Although it feels like uh, EPR has more. Maybe they're just utilizing it differently or better. And out of a, a tight score, uh, EPR managed to actually extend the lead. 8 frags difference now. Yeah, Sheep Belt is not spawning in quite a bit. Both um, L3 players are in the lift area. Um, very easy targets to get spammed. And because of it, it always feels like um, they come a little bit late to the uh, deciding items that face the end of the Sheep Belt. That they still try to stack up, kind of, uh, and then don't have the right height advantage or position to just jump down. Maybe Flo can repeat uh, the amp run he did on Chill Shell. And even the score a little bit. Yeah, 
Yeah, unfortunately he was only able to score uh, one frag so far. That's absolutely um, detrimental for closing the gap right now. Epri waited patiently next to the lift in case he saw it. For the sake of uh, your view, uh, the, the viewers, I will actually enable the X-ray models. Nice try of uh, Flo to uh, knock Epri off the shield belt. If you are still able to get the shield. I'm just hearing from the chat uh, that also other people seem to be very surprised how well EPR is timing. Um, it's really surprising, especially from uh, an elimination team. You would just not expect them to be able to time that well, like a dual player or a uh, team deathmatch team. EPR playing uh, very uh, passive and uh, defensive right now, which is uh, the way to go. And surprisingly, EPR wins the 2-on-2. Uh, two with um, showing some amazing timing skills next to the... Um, Next to the fragging power, obviously. However, I will have to um, ask uh, Factor and uh, Striker to uh, leave the spectator slots. Um, not because I think they do anything um, with it, but it would be fair to the teams if uh, none of the players would actually uh, spectate also the one-on-ones. Anyways, GG's. Um, yeah, that was very surprising. I'm just going to open up the uh, next um, server for one-on-one, -on -one, if they haven't done it already. I'm going to switch the scene. And you might not hear um, the game sound now, I hope. Going back to Phoenix Hub. Let's see if they already created the game. Okay, it seems like we play the matchup of uh, Prism. I'm going to switch quickly to the uh, overview so you guys know where we at. Um, go. So as you guys saw, uh, uh, Quark played the one-on-one except uh, instead of Prism. Prism will now be playing the uh, one-on-one uh, instead of uh, Quark versus Apri. And let's just set up that server. We have a quick peek at the map list for this uh, first matchup. It's going to be ASDF, Erase, and Coma between uh, Prism and Epri. So we start with ASDF.
I step it up. I'm gonna switch back to the uh, scene. Let's see. So it should be Prism versus Epri. And let Prism know. Um, a question from the chat, if Quark and Prism changed the spots, um, yes they did. Quark and Prism changed the spots, so Quark played the 2-2 two and, two and Prism will play the 1-1. One one. Um, reasons were that uh, people, people were not uh, ready internally, so we needed to do some switching. And um, after seeing the 2-2, two two, we now see the first uh, duel versus Epri and Prism. Hold on. The spec slot. I hope you can read that. I'm going to give you uh, uh, um, the the link to the matches. However, like I said, uh, we needed to do some alteration because uh, Dion or Dion was uh, stuck somewhere. He's on his way uh, home, so we needed to ch exchange the roster of uh, one player in the 2-2 two and, two and exchange it with uh, Quark from uh, Duel. So now instead of Quark, uh, Prism will play the Duel. That is not Prism. Ah, he cannot read it, obviously. Epic should not have um, silenced specs, I think, especially in warm up mode. Okay, Prism is on the server. He's uh, in specs. He will be um, joining any second. gonna restart the server. Uh, very good idea from uh, repeat to just have it password protected. Um, I would have preferred the players to be ready ASAP as soon as the uh, server is up but uh, reality often uh, looks a little bit different. 
So we had uh, UTPL, we had dual, we had ASDF first. Okay, seems that Prism is here. I can leave the hub now. Epri can join in. Probably not the most efficient way to start a, um, a server. Okay, fantastic. So the first uh, matchup of the day was won by EPR, surprisingly. Um, now we, in a little different order, go over to Duel. Duel number one is being played by uh, Epri on EPR's side and Prism on Limited Edition's side. Just gonna let the player know. Ready? Yeah, I'm just hearing that um, Epri apparently is uh, pretty good on ASDF. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see. All right, first duel of the day, Three, a disqualification day. Two, one. I would argue that both players have a similarly strong start. One received the shock rifle, the other one received the sniper rifle. I'm gonna move over to Epri's uh, POB because he seems to be in a better position, in any case, here at the top of the map. Picking up that armor, 50 goes to a Prism. Pre securing the shock rifle. Very, very nice combo. Securing the first belt, giving um, Prism a chance to access the armor, immediately being demolished. Either. I'm doing a fantastic job of staying in cover most of the time. Prism uh, getting a little bit impatient here. Should not have just uh, rushed forward and now just randomly clicked um, a spawn location. She built. Number two picked up by Epri as well. Prism really, really has to uh, pace himself. Very nice. 
nice uh, combo by Epi right there, pushing Prism back. Nepri, even uh, although it's just a 9 HP, he was just able to steal away the, the armor. So not really giving anything to Prism right there. She builds up in uh, one second. Oh wow, okay. That's very unfortunate. Uh, that could have been the comeback chance for Prism right there. Instead, he lost um, a frag and the shield belt and the shock rifle. And at this point of the map, um, if Epri plays it smart and defensive, there is virtually no way of uh, Coming back from six frags behind. Prism trying his best to um, push back Apri here and not let him go through that corner. Prism very aggressive, maybe unnecessarily so, because Epri did have the uh, stack advantage, the armor stack advantage. And again, uh, Epri just unpunished basically and uh, able to just walk over the items. Wow, very nice headshot. Let's see what Prism can do. Um, the, the ship is spawning in 10 seconds. Oh, Prism made a big mistake. Was too greedy. Prism was able to take the belt and also stack up to full HP. Very nice combo from uh, Epri right there. Switching back to his position, Chippel's uh, spawning in 10 seconds. The map definitely slowed a little bit down when uh, Prism was able to land the headshots. Every just playing very defensively right there. Nice uh, prediction combo. Pr Prism, uh, Prism with the uh, position advantage on top there, landing two really nice sniper shots on on Epri. Or let's say necessary sniper shots. Epri could now, I think, be finished with, yeah, well, now definitely, with one more uh, shock uh, beam. Instead of shield belt, Prism decides to be the aggressor here. I hope he didn't miss the shield belt, but it looks like he actually did. 
Prism seems to have a timing issue. Maybe he was so focused on just getting the frags that he did not pay attention. Okay, so somebody just asked me for the, the, the hut. I will change it after that map, no problem. I will actually cha change the logos. Move them a little bit up. Well, at this point, it's uh, safe to say, unless a miracle happens uh, from prisons and prisms, and uh, Epri will definitely win this match. Um, or map, not match, pardon. Uh, kind of paid off to be aggressive there, and uh, Prism again neglects the shield belt completely. And even though it's highly unlikely to um, not win anymore, there's no reason to give away frags or give shield or other power-ups to your opponent. Because in the end, um, there might be situations where frags and death and other stats count. And playing very defensive, knowing that Prism can be very aggressive and uh, be very successful in doing so. has air rocket twice again. Wow. Prism just showing what uh, he's capable of. Shield belt is up once more and uh, Epri was able to score it. Twelve to five. Uh, Prism trying his best to get a few frags in the end. GG. A very convincing performance by Pri. I'm very impressed. Um, looking at the items, I think it should be clear to everybody that 9 versus uh, 0 uh, shield belts uh, make a huge difference in a duel. And also looking at the armors, 5 more for Epri and uh, yeah, that's if two players with similar frag power face each other. I mean, if you look at the damage, Prism even did more damage, right? So, uh, if uh, Epri wouldn't have had these items, the 13 frags would maybe be in the Prism's favor. But, um, yeah, that was map number one. Maybe Pr Prism should now focus really on uh, getting a grip on timing the items. Let me quickly uh, move the... Um, The logos a little bit. Okay, let's see how this looks. I gotta walk over to, the, to my uh, TV. That should uh, do the trick, and you guys will be able to see the uh, armor and uh, health sticks way better. I'm letting the players know. Okay, I just uh, pinged them in the Discord. I'm ready. So this will be very interesting. Um, what actually happens? Uh, Tron said uh, Prism almost never plays uh, duels, which would explain that um, there was near to no timing on um, in Prism's end. I'm still very, very uh, impressed by 
timing capabilities of uh, EPR who are elimination players. Three, two, the second map of the first encounter in Duel. Prism with not such a great spawn, I would argue. Um, also, it uh, seems that he is not perfectly aware of what the routes are to be taking on this map. Because he spawned by a bio rifle and did not pick up the... Very, very, very nice flag work. Uh, completely unexpected for um, for every. And very, very sneaky uh, uh, getaway by um, by Prism stealing the stealing the armor. Now not li not leaving too much of leeway for. Epri is leading and now uh, is prepared to go down to shield self and use it even. Very nice. But also very nice movement by Epri who is uh, now attending the armor. Prism now with a very very nice uh, combo right there, getting ready to to defend the armor, giving every free uh, way on uh, the 50, but I would argue it's not that problematic on on this map. Basically, just one shock uh, beam away. Oh, Prism just getting away with with his life. Very, very nice uh, uh, flak ball. Um, stealing the shield belt. Oh, if uh, Prism would just have used that combo. Very, very nice shock work from, from Prism. Um, actually now in the lead on the second map of this uh, duel. Next up should be the uh, the pads. Prism giving it away undefended, which hopefully is not a mistake. Very nice attempt from Epri to secure the the armor there. Very very nice combo. Unfortunately, didn't hit. Oh, th that would have been a really, really nice chance for Prism to get um, to punish Epri, who's going for the uh, HP packs. But let's exchanging. Shock beams. Prism getting away with a better stack. Seems the Prism did a little bit of a movement mistake uh, right there, and, and instead of going for the uh, armor, he was uh, staying at the bottom for too long. Very, very unfortunate. Nice combo. Oh, and very nice uh, shock by, by Efri. I think Prism um, just missed uh, stepping on that shield belt for some reason. Oh, is it, is it one? I, th I think it's one shock beam away of uh, getting the kill. Now Efri has to be very careful of uh, 
Prism catching him on the way to the health packs. And very, very nice uh, combo by Prism, switching towards his position. Now a little bit too aggressive on, on Prism's uh, end. Epri with a lot of HP right there, still stealing the armor in, in the last second. E uh, 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 e even, even scores a 5 to 5. Another little blooper by, by Prism, however. Forgetting about the shield belt. Now armor's not gonna spawn within the next 8 seconds with uh, free pads. Might have done a little mistake here by not going for the items of choice. Oh, and a very nice air hit, mid air hit. Prism leaving a little bit too much room for Epri, so he was able to walk to the uh, 50 unpunished. Maybe even overly cautious. Now Shield Belt is up again and Prism seems to... have forgotten about it. One more, well, now that I say it, one more shot and uh, Epri was done for. Very, very tight match. 6-6 six six right now. Prism still leaving a little bit too much room for Epri to maneuver. Epri now, um, Prism at least now twice had the chance to punish Epri. Again, ignores the 50. Very nice click shot. However, Prism should be on his way to arm already. Oh, and a very nice flick shot from Prism, now being in the lead for the first time of this map. Shield Belt is spawning in uh, just a bit. This time Prism makes no mistake in uh, hitting it towards the corner. was a little bit too um, reckless here, but he is not lost a one, minute. one minute and ten seconds to go. Yeah, Prism now solidifying his uh, lead nine to. And Epri desperately needs to get the next uh, shield belt, or at least deny it from uh, Prism. Yeah, it could be ve very, very close. 30 seconds to go, uh, I would say the mesh is open. 
Apri cannot be, yeah, leaving that shield to Prism and exactly that happened. Now it's uh, incredibly hard for um, Apri to come back in this uh, situation. Even if he now kill kills uh, Prism, it would have to be... Oh, that was very, very close. Very, very, very close. Wow, okay, that uh, could have been the deciding combo in the end. So it's one to one in maps. First map won by Epri, very convincingly on ASDF. Second now on uh, um, Erase, won by Prism. Both players uh, entered the server. Cider map is going to be Coma. Just waiting for a sign of life. Of Prism moving around. I'm saying something. Okay, he says one minute, please. No problem. Everybody needs a little break once in a while. I mean, after the first map, I was uh, expecting to, uh, I was expecting Epri to win convincingly on a race, but for some reason, uh, Prism was able to turn it around and and win that map. So, as Repeat pointed out in the, on oh, actually. Cosent was it pointed out on uh, Twitch? A anything can happen on that map, and I would agree. While it is easy to make a uh, nice run for all the items, I think it's also a uh, it's also possible to just play very defensive Three, or aggressive in that two, case. One. Okay, I'm on Epri's Puff. He did not, I was about to say, not, didn't get any weapon. Now just found the shock rifle. Oh, that could have been the first kill for Epri. Prism in a lot of trouble here. I th think Prism isn't perfectly aware of how the map layout is. We seem to be walking around a little bit. Items go to both players respectively. Uh, very nice uh, succession of uh, of shock beams. Have now also two, uh, three really nice hits by by Prism. Be very careful. Yeah, I think he is just not aware of the angles of the map. Um, so maybe this uh, map is going to be a little bit more 
convincing than the last one. I have a very nice uh, rocket from a uh, prison here. Forcing Epri to fall back to the HPs. Yeah, she put spawning in uh, just one second. Prism able to push uh, back Epri right there. Epri decides to not go for the HP, nor the armor. And it might uh, have proven to be fatal now, because uh, it seems like the whole map control shifted in an instant. Prison did not even try to defend it or negate it. He rather focuses on the shield belt. Maybe not the worst move, uh, switching to Flak over there, because um, Prison was able to push back Epri quite a bit and uh, Epri was unable to reach the belt. Prism, however, still a little bit unaware of the angles and uh, opening up himself to free shots of Epri. Luckily for him, Epri did not connect these shots. Yep. Prism, very nice flag work again. Um, however, deciding again to just secure the shield belt, it worked out for him last time, so maybe this is gonna be fine for him this time, but some Epri at the upper hand. Very, very close rocket. Both players hitting quite uh, a bit. Perfectly aware of that they are not very stacked to take a long fight. And now Prism hit, hitting very, very hard. Uh, Epri down to 8 HP, has to retreat, find health, find some armor stack. But well, Prism is able to grab some of those uh, HP balls. Prism, however, not really punishing uh, Epri for his low HP. Switching over to Prism, who now has uh, map control, picked up the shield belt, picked up the armor. Epri seems to be playing a very shock and sniper heavy uh, game. Both players hitting a lot of shots.
Shippard, go into Epri. Oh, very, very nice uh, shock work here by Prism. Very nice rocket. Predicted. And Chipper should be up any second, two, two seconds in fact. Oh, if that rocket would have connected. I think Prism is uh, very sad that he forgot about the shield build for a moment. Seem to have a very a strong grip on the map right now. Actually, uh, uh, Epri might have made um, a mistake, not punishing uh, Prism enough. Oh, what a combo. What a follow-up. Well, that was unfortunate, and also the spawn was absolutely heartbreaking for Prism. Instead of uh, selecting the right uh, spawn location, Now missing very, very important shots. Prism has a huge problem now. Epri is in complete map control and it's 40 seconds to go. So if Epri plays it right, he can now push on a Prism and will most likely get the frag and will not be punished. The question here really is like, what do you do? Oh wow, what a finish. GG. That means Epri is the winner of the first duel in this encounter. Extending the lead to 2-0. Two to zero. Uh, Toon 2 was won by um, EPR. The first duel was won by EPR now with uh, Epri. Yeah, that was uh, quite the interesting uh, match and very, very unexpected. Same as the Toon 2. So I'm switching over quickly. Next up should be uh, Diane versus Factor. Right there. 
just looking whether the players are ready. Looking at the maps, it will be Erase, Coma, and ASDF. Same maps we just saw, just in a different order. I'm going to the spec position. Well, in the end, um, I think players will have to uh, create the service themselves now that the um, rule sets um, are online, at least on uh, the Phoenix server. They also will be soon at the Unreal Pack server. So players will just be able to uh, to click it without problem. To disappoint you, Scandalous, I'm not playing today. One. So the second one on one just started. I'm on pets are spawning in five seconds. In fact, completely ignoring uh, uh, the possibility that uh, Diane w could have been behind the pillar. Then taking advantage of that, uh, going in, in, into the lead, 1-0, to zero, very easy kill for him. Have a Diane um, not punishing Fact to too much. Wow, that could have uh, <laughs> that could have looked very different. In fact, I just launched that combo a little bit earlier, and Diane would have would not have hit the headshot. I think uh, Factor might have gotten that uh, shield belt. However, Factor not uh, too badly stacked with receiving that armor. Very uh, nice um, sniper shots by Lion. Unfortunately, uh, Vector also killed himself in the process, but uh, in the end, I think Vector is the, the benefactor of that situation. And now Lion actually missing. The, sh the shield belt and also not punishing a uh, fact that it will be like he will be very disappointed. I'm just uh, trying to repeat what, what he did earlier. 
very, very nice uh, sniper shots right there. And almost hitting Factor uh, on its way to armor. Super spawning in five seconds. Wow, and uh, like the getting away with uh, Diane uh, trying too much uh, sniper in, in close combat. Definitely not the right choice of weaponry. Very nice job uh, of Factor pushing Dyne away from uh, the shock rifle, however, he still managed to get it. Dyne with a very unexpected uh, shock beam right there. Dying surviving just very, very, very closely. Uh, 10 HP. Pekta knows exactly that um, Dying is uh, struggling very, very hard uh, with, with HP. However, he was a little bit too greedy. Could have taken the belt instead. Very smart positioning of, of Factor. And now Dian completely ignoring that uh, the armor was free, getting greedy and uh, donating map control uh, essentially to Factor. It was a kind of an unnecessary play, I, I would say. Dine already had 100 uh, armor points and he still didn't uh, try to lay damage on, on Factor instead of just picks up the armor, giving him not even one single armor point. Dyne getting very, very, very greedy here. However, he gets away with his life. Not sure if that was worth it. Essentially giving map control to Vector. In fact, they've taken advantage of exactly that uh, map control. Killing Prism, who didn't have enough armor. Prism now trying to get some, some weapons and the next armor. And was actually not punished. Okay. Nice combo right there. Dyne's still uh, sticking around, although uh, that was just taken.
I think it said prism. Yes, I'm a, I'm a dying. Very good uh, attention, scandalous. What? What just happened? The fact, I didn't even turn around. But he doesn't have to have a technical problem. And now very, very nice uh, sneaky work by Dain, who's just waiting in the corner. Being perfectly aware that Vector missed him. Wow. Sheep are going to uh, Dain to K. Five. Vector being very, very aggressive right there. One minute 30 to go. I'm not sure if that was the right uh, decision. He can always uh, recover from one kill, but uh, recovering from two is really, really, really tough. And now, within a few seconds, uh, Dine was able to extend the lead. I think you can type GG, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think typing GG will open the concede vote. Okay. Go to the next map. Just gonna let you guys see the the victory screen. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, final score will be nine to four, not nine to five. Vector should just not uh, leave. He should actually concede. If we didn't implement the concede option, then. Um, we will edit until next time, but I think it's it's active. He should have been able to concede. Um, yeah, so that is that. I'm gonna open the next server. I mean, Dian actually could just vote for one, but I'm not uh, aware if he knows the map uh, choices. Just quickly have a look at the uh, maps. That would be Erase, Coma, ASDF. So, Erase, Coma. Just checking whether um, they rejoined the other one, the other server. Oh, it seems so. Okay. Never mind then. Joining this. No problem. Okay, well, I guess they started without me. It's uh, not good to leave the server. Very confusing. Anyway, first blood directly on the belt for Factor.
Nice rocket work there from back there. I think Vector is uh, kind of angry, just uh, judging from the uh, moves he pulls off in UT. Just a very, very aggressive gameplay. Maybe that's just the way he plays for a uh, duel. Oh wow, headshot on, uh, affected Diane now with a very very nice uh, re recovery on map control. He's leaving shield belt to Fector. Wow! Wow, 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 okay. So, so what just happened was that Diane jumped into the goo that was lying there on the floor, randomly put, put there by Fector. Good armor is uh, up, and uh, again, Dian is giving a little bit too much leeway to uh, to Factor, potentially giving away map control here. Oh, Fector very, very low. And Diane completely ignoring the shield belt. Might not have been worth it. Still getting it. Yeah, Iskadox, the map maker, seems to have uh, wanted some feedback. I agree. Maybe at the end of the season we can give a lot of feedback. Very, very nice, uh, patient air rocket. Diane stealing away the uh, armor, very, very nice uh, pulse work, surviving the whole uh, situation with just uh, 36 HP. However, he must not be too greedy now, eating one flag ball, eating the second. That is such a close game. I can't believe how close it is. Dian just picking up the uh, uh, shield belt, factor the armor. Not really sure what Dian is uh, waiting for. There's literally no item spawning. Instead, he's giving uh, factor a lot of map control right there. Uh, armor stack, not map control. In fact, they will have access to uh, the armor. Wow, Dian actually able to steal the shield by the way. And uh, Factor with a very, very nice combo surviving with just 10 HP. Dian getting super aggressive. Dian ignoring uh, the armor. And yeah, potentially not punishing Factor. I feel a little bit sorry.
Oh, very, very close. Uh, but even if Dian would have hit the, um, the Zabba shot, Vector still would have gotten that shield belt. Master was just asking whether uh, Dian was playing seriously or not. I mean, that's a question you have to ask him. I think he's playing seriously, um, with the difference that he completely misjudged the situation and gave too much uh, room for Factor instead of. Instead of playing it uh, defensively and controlled, um, Dian actually went for frags and. In my opinion, didn't particularly choose the right weapon to, to begin with. Anyway, he's closing the, the the frag gap. Wow. Ignoring that shield belt was up. Oh, it's, it's gonna be up. Sorry, my bad. Wow, actually, Dian with... Uh, it seems to be a very good strategy, whatever he's doing right now. Wow, I cannot believe that he's getting uh, to eagleize that, that score this way. Very, very nice and patient uh, play by Dian here. Wow, okay. Uh, Dian now with complete map control, shield bit spawning in only 20 seconds. That's uh, way too late for Factor to, to rely on. And he might have... Just given up. Ten. And we didn't, do not have the concede function, it seems. Six, five. Ah yes, we do. Good. Surprising turn of events. Um, Dian is winning the duel for limited edition. Leading to a total score of 2 to 1 in favor of EPR. We jump into Team Deathmatch 4 and 4 now. I'm giving you guys the browser window. Uh, lineup's going to be uh, Quark, Dian, Flo Jr. and Prism for limited edition and uh, BKMZ, Factor, Striker and Sply for EPR. Map's going to be deck test and uh, rank and LE in that order. I'm going to create the server. Yeah, Dian was. Uh, uh, <sighs> I mean, both players had some really impressive uh, games so far. Or both teams, I should say, had impressive games. Um, the uh, the Russian team 
completely surprising everybody with uh, winning the two and two. I think not only to me, but also to other players. They're, they're kind of unknown in the deathmatch scene. They're known for being elimination players, and they did time f phenomenally well. So I'm really curious to see that in a four and four as well. So the map's gonna be um, the first one is gonna be there. We are deck and then Rankin. Okay, let's start with deck. Server is up. I'm gonna let the players know. Switching back to being a spec. Um, there is some talks about uh, servers in uh, the uh, Twitch chat. I completely agree, agree with Wolverine uh, saying that um, we will never know for sure um, how players or teams perform unless we actually get um, a LAN at some point where both uh, communities attend slash uh, also obviously everybody else on the planet. Just making sure everybody is uh, getting on the server. So right now we're missing, um, okay, Quark is here, I'm checking the lineup again with you guys. Quark, Dine, Flow, and Prism, and so far, Quark, Flow, on the server, means we are missing Dine and Prism. On the other side, we are missing... Nobody actually. Okay, good. We are on Team Blue. I think that's going to be a very, very tough game for um, 
limited edition. DPR seems to be incredibly strong on deck and with its skin weapons in general. Alright. Yeah, um, limited editions uh, turn two performance was hampered by um, them not timing uh, the the items very well for some reason. Maybe they're just not used to it, or maybe um, it was nervousity or some other reason. So maybe DPR was applying too much pressure. But I feel like uh, the teams are very even in terms of fragging power. Just the timing seemed to be more in favor of the EPR and the, and the two and two. Everybody is on the server. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, gonna be the first map of 2 and 2, uh, 4 and 4. Right now, EDI is leading 2 to 1. If Limited Edition is able to win both 4 and 4 maps, then actually Limited Edition will advance. If EPR will win only one of the two 4 and 4 maps, then they will advance to the first division, to the epic division. Yeah, we definitely will have to do uh, passive protection for the next time. That's for sure. Oh, that could have been a very, very nice uh, combo on flow. Um, limited edition leading <laughs> 3 to 1 in the first uh, encounters of this map. Armor as well as pads are spawning any second. Factor in control of the shock rifle. And, uh, limited edition uh, receiving both uh, armors. Factor trying to cover the top floor. Anyway, enough of the specs, uh, I'm pretty sure Cool will uh, take care of it. Uh, Amp is gonna spawn in 3 seconds, I'm baffled of how low the map score is right now, uh, just 6 to 2. Switching over to Flow, who's... no? Who got the Amp? Nobody has the Amp? Okay, Flow has the Amp again. Wow, okay, Flow... Uh, just, just making a double or multi kill even with uh, with that amp dying in the dying in the process. EPR grabbing the shield belt. Closing the gap to uh, 13 to 10 now even. Switching over to Factor, who has a shield belt and seems to be very much in control. Of the middle grounds. Mm. 
Oh, very very nice work by uh, by Factor pushing um, pushing limited edition away from the armor. Ambassador's belt spawn fairly at the same time. And Sply was able to pick up the the shield belt. <laughs> what was that? That's one way to lose the uh, the amp as well as the lead. Flona with uh, the amp on armor. This armor should be up if I'm not mistaken. No, it's not up. Just four seconds to go. Very nice prediction combo and. Uh, Arm again in the hands of limited edition. I think Prism did not notice that. He had the boots. Why would he not jump? Anyway, that gives uh, shield belt to um, to EPR. Very, very, very close uh, matches here. Very nice uh, kill of the M. That's got right now 33 to 30. With Shuple just spawning in two seconds and uh, Half of EPR's team is already waiting to uh, be able to jump down to shield belt. Now we see some of uh, Flo's <laughs> incredible movement. I think uh, he deserves a gold medal for that. Thirty-six to thirty-four. Uh, I'm just gonna spawn in five seconds, and it doesn't seem that any of uh, limited editions uh, uh, members are even close. Wow, that was uh, quite some timing. Because you don't uh, see it very often that uh, Flo misses uh, jumps. Piana closing the gap. Um, Quark picking up the uh, shield belt here, so that armor stack is not too much in favor of of EPR. Seems like all the amp uh, uh, carriers just died in an instant. EKMZ just uh, grabbing the 50. Armor spawning in three seconds. All four EPR members are waiting in the middle to just jump down to belt. Two of them actually jumped, which means that the whole middle ground is now uh, basically free for grabs for 
limited edition. Very, very, very close match. Very, very nice sniper shot of uh, Diane there, showing the viewers a little bit of his sniping skills. It seems that um, the edition now actually was able to uh, pull ahead nine frags just with the use of this one single amp. And limited edition also picking up the shield belt. Well, doing very very nice work here on armor. Three uh, EPR players, or two in the big room, two on two on the shock rifle. Very nice disturbance created here by Flo. M should be spawning in uh, about 10 seconds now. Most of the EPR members have uh, less than 100 HP, so that makes it incredibly hard to even just jump on the amp. Back then now with the amp. And again, flow with the pickup. I don't want to be too much on flow, but it's hard if he picks up all the amps. Now, Spy uh, kill, killing flow, picking up the amp. Shield belt spawning, or just spawned actually. Who has it? Uh, striker. Now, EPR might be able to turn the tide around a little bit. Very nice uh, flick shot on Dian. EPR, uh, EPR seems to have three members without proper weapons. Which would explain uh, why the match has slowed down a little bit. Very nice rocket. Striker just randomly picking up the players with the uh, amped uh, sniper rifle. Striker just 11 HP at, at the top, waiting for a possibility to uh, get some HP. Ah, very, very nice air plug combined with uh, some showing off of movement skills. Amp is spawning in uh, five seconds.
And it seems like Factor is picking up. That was a little bit unfortunate, I think he could have uh, uh, gained a little bit more out of the uh, damage amplifier here. Uh, Sheep are going to EPR, uh, the frags closed down to now just uh, 8 frags for the fra uh, frag lead. And Flo once again has the damage amplifier with double enforcer and uh, 10 frags to go. He knows he is on the losing end right there. If he wouldn't uh, back off, that's what he does. Even the best fraggers uh, cannot uh, close a 9 frag difference in uh, 10 seconds. Yeah, so it seems like we have very, very, very close matchups. Limited edition uh, uh, closing the points lead of EPR. Now both teams have two points. And the last map will be. As far as I am aware, I'm just gonna all tap out. It's gonna be Rankin here. As you see, uh, Flo was the top scorer in, in his teams, but uh, in his team, but all the players kind of at least did uh, 20 kills. Power, power ups uh, seem to be in favor of EPR, like we saw in the 2 and 2s. It seems we have a reconnect going on, no problem. Would be nice if. Um, well, I'm ready. The question is: Is the other team ready?
Yes, it seems like everybody's ready. So the all deciding map is going to be um, the American Two, in the 4 and 4. One. Whoever wins that will advance to the Epic Division. Let's see what Dian can, Dian, or Dian can do with uh, the picked up shock rifle. Leaving the very, very important armor. Armor, however, was picked up by uh, Vector. During this pop, being chased by two L3 members. Bill is spawning in 10 seconds. Two of EPR's members already downstairs. Sply having picked up the uh, shield belt. Let's see what they can do with that. Pushing over to Prism. Next up is gonna be the end, 10 seconds. Prism seems to be a little bit uh, greedy here, and instead of curing Amp, he tried to um, score some kills. Armor is also up, or was up. Two more members on uh, minigun. Belchip is spawning in five. Seconds. And it seems like nobody is picking up the shield belt. Now EPR picked it up. Because I'm still controlling the, uh, the shock rifle. Armor's uh, going to Factor. Ember Shield Build spawning at the same time, so players should be getting ready. Prism might have missed uh, the armor pickup, he's still desperately waiting on it. Lucky for his teammate that uh, he wasn't really needed. Let's see what Flo can do with the, with the end. Probably a smart move to uh, give the end to a teammate. At the top, no gun. Limited edition also is not really present there, so you will not run into too much trouble. Shield build spawning in uh, five seconds. Factor is not going downstairs. Both teams have to have uh, trouble timing the items. Also, armor is free and uh, is not being picked up by uh, limited edition, although they had uh, armor control. Prism with a very, very nice stack of uh, 120, 80 
picked up the amp. Well, I would say that's a very successful amp run so far. Although the ultra kill, as far as I'm concerned, was just an assist. Limited edition leading with uh, 10 frags right now. And pick up the, uh, the shield belt and have map control in general. It's uh, gonna be very, very hard for EPR to break through. In fact, I just picked up the armor. So waiting on the amp, should infect it down to just a few HP. I think he almost just killed a teammate, but it's okay. It happens. Prism on a Rampage. I wonder how he did that. I would assume that he's uh, timing the armor so that we don't see those stats in uh, the scoreboard. Individual pickups. Uh, very, very nice uh, shots here from uh, Prism. The one man army. Yeah, doing all they can to get to those pickups, uh, both spawning in uh, 5 seconds. They just have no luck, they just doubled the score. And it seems to me that um, PR is losing a little bit of spirit, knowing that this is the deciding map. And being this far behind. Flo picking up another new damage. Flo doing very, very nice uh, work here, securing many items for his team. Heavy top control now from uh, limited edition. There's really not much to say, except that they do a decent job in uh, keeping the sniper away from EPR. M spawning in uh, one second, and I think that might have been the first or second M for EPR. Denied the belt, I'm gonna switch to Dian, who seemed to be able to 
pick it up. They are just uh, unable to regain top control and that's very very crucial here, top and shock control. Three members of uh, limited edition permanently guarding the shock area here. Shield spawning in the 5 seconds, 3 EPR members now, waiting for the shield belt pickup. Sacrificing uh, the amp in the meantime, switching over to Dian. And if they played smartly, they, they, I mean, uh, edition, they will be able to negate the shield belt pickup very, very easily. I think Dian just killed the shield uh, carrier with a headshot, empt headshot. Stupid spawning in three seconds. No player seems to have the timing correct right now. Stupid still up. Uncontested. Argue it's almost impossible to uh, get 30 frags in in this uh, short amount of time, especially when you don't have an M. Very nice uh, side of work here from Flo. I was up. Last amp, 15 seconds, last shield. No, yes, last shield belt. Or oh, almost last shield belt in 20 seconds. Both teams battling around the amp, and it just looks like limited edition will also get this one. Winning the map really, really convincingly. Or dominating the map convincingly, it's not one yet. But with all four players uh, disconnected at the same time, then it is a sure win. That was uh, rather unexpected. Yeah, Prism and Flow both having insane uh, track scores here. Having as many frags as uh, EPR together combined.
Congratulations to Limited Edition for being the first qualifier or winning the first qualifier and having qualified for the Epic Division of the UT Pro League. Um, after seeing EPR win the first two matches, I was really, really, really uh, curious uh, whether they would not win, maybe. Especially that um, both Team Deathmatch 4 and 4 maps are best of ones. That means there was not a single mistake that uh, Limited Edition would have been able to uh, do. But they prevailed. So the seeding has proven correct so far. Very curious about the next matchup. I'm inviting the next uh, place to the server and bear with me. Gonna do a little uh, break of just a few minutes.